You wanted to talk, right? What's up? I've been thinking back on my own career lately, and I realized a lot of my success can be credited to the factions I was a part of, both off-screen and on. Just like you, I was strong-willed and independent. But in WWE, you often find yourself needing backup. The other members of the clique in DX also puts each other to be better. What are you getting at? Two prominent superstars have approached management with the idea of building a faction around you, and the brass thinks it's a good idea. Is this because of the LA Live event? It's not about what happened in LA. I was set up to fail with the whole rock publicity stunt happening the same night. You're lucky the building was half full. Sure, whatever. But this faction stuff has nothing to do with that. It's all about accelerating your rise to the top. And I think it says a lot that a couple of heavy hitters came to us wanting to build something around you. So I'll say it again. You just need to play ball here and trust the process. Okay, but if I do this, I see it as a good opportunity to freshen up my look. So no more lock gear, okay? If that's what it takes to get this done, then fine. Okay, then I'm on board. So who approached you about this? What are my options? The two superstars who want to recruit you are MVP and Randy Orton. Go talk to them, hear what they have to say, and decide what's best for your career. Glad we could finally talk. Especially since you might be hearing some big promises from guys like MVP. But let's cut to the chase. What has he really accomplished? A lot, actually. He's been a success both inside the ring and outside guiding the Hurt Business. Sounds like MVP's gotten to you already. But I know he's a big talker, which is about all he can do these days. Unlike me. So, why are you getting involved with all this faction stuff? I enjoyed what I had in RK Bro, and it got me thinking about my start in WWE, when I was a part of one of the greatest factions of all time, Evolution. I want to add to my legacy by building an even better version. Interesting. So, where do I fit in? I'll be the veteran leader, the Triple H type and I see the lock in the Phenom role that I held. You're not the guy yet, but with my help, you will be. I seem to recall that you and Evolution didn't end on the best terms. You don't need to worry about that. With me in charge, it will be different. And when the time's right, I'll pass the torch to you and you'll become world champion, just like I did. When will that be? I can't make any promises. Ultimately, it's up to you. Ball's in your court now. Let me know what you want to do. I've heard enough, and I like where this is headed. I'm ready to join Evolution. Good. You made the right call. I'm extremely confident in your abilities, but I want to give you a crash course in doing things the Evolution way. Meet me at the Performance Center tomorrow, and don't be late. I'll be there.
two. That's it. Bring it. Joining Evolution feels like a turning point in my career. I mean, everything before this felt big, but now it really seems like I'm on my way to the top. But do you think Randy Orton will be willing to share the spotlight with you? Can you trust him? I was skeptical of all this at first, but I'm trying my best to trust the process. Which is tough, since I know Randy's not always been the most straight-up guy, but I think he really wants to do this the right way. And that means stepping aside when the time's right and giving me the spotlight. Any clue who else will be joining this new evolution? Randy hasn't told me anything. I guess we'll all find out together. Someone is arriving in style. Any idea who this could be? I'm not sure. As far as I know, all the VIPs are already here. Interesting. What's this all about? We've seen these two team before, but I thought it was just a one-time thing. We heard the rumors surrounding Randy Orton. This must be the debut of his newly reformed evolution. Let's go. Led by Orton, Evolution is here on Raw, and they look ready to dominate. I'm having flashbacks to 20 years ago. We put the locker room on notice, but now I want to show the entire WWE universe that we run things here on Raw. When I was in the original Evolution, we did that by holding multiple championships. So we are going to do the same thing. I thought you said I needed to wait my turn to go after the WWE Championship. You do. I've used my pull to get us a match for the Street Profits Raw Tag Team Championships. We can beat the Street Profits. No problem. I like your confidence, but it's not just the Street Profits. It's a triple threat match with them and the team of Carmelo Hayes and Almas from MVP's relaunched Hurt Business. <laughs> Apparently everyone's doing reboots these days. Yeah, but ours is better. I've decided you two will represent Evolution. I want those tag titles. Don't let me down. Don't worry. After this match, I'll be holding two championships. We got this. It's two-thirds of Evolution ready for tag team action. The following is a triple threat tag team match. And it's full. The Raw Tag Team Championship! Introducing the challenger at a combined weight of 459 pounds, Big Daddy and Gabriel Slate Evolution! The Intercontinental Champion and Gabriel are an exciting blend of potential and experience that could reshape this entire tag team division. Sure, if The Lock's actually ready for a partner. And at a combined weight of 610 pounds, Omos and Carmelo. Here we go, guys. We're finally going to crown a new champion here tonight. Cole, this match right here is the absolute definition of history-making. Whoever wins this will forever have their name in WWE history books, and that's really saying something. And at a 
combined weight of 492 pounds. Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits. Triple Crown Tag Team Champions, NXT Raw and SmackDown. You know what that means, Michael? It doesn't matter what the brand is, the Street Profits always bring the smoke. The new look Intercontinental Champion has teamed up with Gabriel Slade to challenge the Street Profits for the Raw. Oh, Bear Hug squeezing the breath out of The Bear Hug sits down. Gotta find a way to catch your breath. And there is no quit whatsoever. The elbows and a sweep in the Bear Hug. Uh oh. About to hit the bottom. Oh, and he breaks up the pin.
Not the outcome, the Hurt Business, and Evolution we're looking for, but I'm sure this is not the last we've seen from them by a long shot. Obviously, things didn't go as planned out there. What's next? How are we going to regroup? You're not going to regroup. We are. What do you mean? You had your shot, and you lost. Now we're going after the tag titles. I had the match won and caught a bad break with Omas and Montez hitting me with big moves right after the other. And it's not like you're punishing Gabe here for losing. Gabe didn't get pinned. You did. Look, give me another chance. I'll prove myself by doing something really impressive. Like what? I'll beat the Street Profits next week all by myself. Who knows? Could even earn us a title rematch. Sure. <laughs> okay. It's the superstar who's a lock to be on top of WWE for years to come. The following contest is a handicap match. Introducing first, from Dallas, Texas, weighing in at 239 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Big Daddy. And guys, this looks to be a match with major implications here in WWE. Could change the entire landscape here. Anything can happen tonight. All's fair in lock and war. Time to party with the Prophets. And their opponents at a combined weight. 492 pounds, the Raw Tag Team Champions, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits. Byron, with the Street Profits out here, I can't even get mad at you. <laughs> All right, Michael, high five. All right, maybe not. Choreographed for a whole little dance inside the club, man. It'll be lit. 
That's a great idea, Saxon. Afterward, we can all go play in traffic. The Intercontinental Champion may have recently lost his chance to rack up another title, yeah. but he's back tonight to take another crack at the Street Profits. The lock seems to have lost more than that. His mind, maybe? A, a terrible bet? Man, do I hate to agree with Corey, but I just don't see how a handicap match against the Raw Tag Team Champions could end well for the ambitious rookie. Side. Tag switching it up. Oh, target acquired and destroyed. Close fist connects. Just pounding away. Enough already. Boom! Oh, man. It's like he's got eight arms and feet. Oh, oh, barrage oh, of lethal oh. strikes. Oh, stop right to the hand. Momentum on the side of the lock. Yeah, Dawkins needs to find a way to right the ship here. And lock got turned around there. Dawkins is pushing back. Now. Angelo weathered the storm and wants to create a flurry of his own. Looking to crush the hamstring. Oh. Another one? Ah, crush the hamstring. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. He turns it around. He's showing it's not time for Oh, look at the start of this. Could be going into the paper for submission. And you imagine what it would do to his confidence. We're going to find an escape from the abdominal stretch. Uh-oh, found it. really being knocked around here. The lock isn't holding him. Break of the eyes. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. How much cheating can you do in one match? Oh, man. For the pin and the win. Yes. How in the world did he kick out? Are you kidding me? Ooh, what a nasty kick. Insulting. Just like that, he said, crashing to the floor. Look at this! Oh, God! Tempted fate and paid dearly for it. That haphazard approach definitely proved costly. Right hand after right hand. This is ugly. The upper hand now belongs to the lock. Yeah, Dawkins needs to find a way to right the ship here. Dawkins with the reversal. Dawkins is pushing back now. Angelo weathered the storm and wants to create a flurry of his own. Delivered into the barricade. He has been here before, and he knows what he needs to do. Wow, what a shot. Fighting back with a counter. If he was looking for an opportunity to pull a 180, that could be it. A big splash. He wasted no time kicking out there. How does anyone have this much in them at this point? from attacks to that area. Carefully placed stop to the arm. Punch straight to the face, stays off the attack. Reciprocating the initial reversal. Finds the room to land a back elbow. Oh, it is over. Oh, man, you can see. 
see. He does he get it here? Shoulder up before the count started. He didn't even let the ref start the count. Hoping to end it here. This is it. Coming to the rescue. Dawkins was ready there. Oh, look at this incredible power. Workman suplex combination. Not done yet. Another? Man, you're observant, Byron. Best analyst in the game. How about one more? Suplex. What a combination. Just punched him right in the mouth. Enough already. And Dawkins is really being knocked around here. The lock's showing that edge, that ruthlessness. Oh, the lock gets caught with a counter. Can't quite get him there. And now he's looking to lock in this submission. Abdominal stretch. It's locked in. This is, he made to think of a quick count. Oh, wait a minute. There it is. That's a counter with style. Congratulations to the crowd and get back into the fight. A pulls off. This is raw power here. Cup wrench suplex coming. There's more to come. Another. The superstar still not done. Oh my God, what power. with a crucial elbow. Return fire from Dawkins. Sequence of reversals there. Hooked up, it looks like for a belly to belly. Belly to belly, oh no. Goodness. Check out this power, ladies and gentlemen. Up and driven down with a jackhammer. That could put Dawkins down for good. Boom. And Locke is really putting the pressure on. Montez is definitely in peril here. And he gets sent back into the ring. He could pin his opponent right here. Skeptical, but the lock delivered the goods tonight. The lock has made a believer out of Corey Graves, everyone. Anything is possible. Definitely a cause for celebration. What an impressive victory. Bad, huh? Told you I'd show you I was worthy of a rematch. I was impressed, but I'm sticking with the original plan. Me and Gabe are taking the tag title rematch. Why do you think WWE even gave us the rematch to begin with? It was because they just saw me beat the champions all by myself. Is that what you think? I actually went to management and got us the rematch, and you could have blown it by going out there on your own and losing. Yeah, well, I didn't. Look, you already have the Intercontinental Championship. Focus on that. And after Gabe and I take care of business, we'll all have titles. Everyone wins. Gabe, you've been quiet. Don't you think it should be me and you going after the tag titles? I actually think Randy's right. It makes more sense for us to take the match. Exactly. And for Evolution to succeed, we all need to be on the same page. Understood? Fine. Understood. I'll trust the process. 
Now you're talking. So, how did it feel to watch from the sidelines as your Evolution teammates captured the Raw Tag Team Championships? Evolution is a solid group, and we are even more solid now that all of us are champions. Is that what Randy told you to say? What are you getting at? It just seems like you've taken a back seat to Orton. Randy's got a plan and I'm following it. He's going to pass the torch to me when the time's right. Or at least that's what he's told me. I don't want to pry, but is there dissension in evolution already? You know what? I think I've said all I want to say.